hi everyone welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be a full face of root cosmetics makeup look so i've been meaning to create this um, one brand makeup look for a really long time but i couldn't for obvious reasons so if you want to know how i got this makeup look using only root cosmetics then please do continue watching To fill in the brows, I'm using their teeny weeny micro eyebrow pencil in the shade black brown. So as the name suggests, it's a micro brow pencil. I'm combing through the brows and filling any gaps and creating hair like strokes in my eyebrows. And this eyebrow pencil and the color is really nice for my skin tone and the color of my eyebrows. I really like using it. Next for eyeshadow, I'm taking the Tokyo Metropolis eyeshadow palette. I love this eyeshadow palette. So I'm taking that matte uh, purplish kind of um, eyeshadow and blending it on the crease and slightly above the crease as well. And also on the outer V of my eye and just pulling it out slightly for that winged out shape. Next I'm going to take this dark brown shade on a different uh, precise blending brush and just applying that uh, focus mainly on the crease to add some depth there and then I'm gonna take the satiny uh, purple eyeshadow and just applying that on the center and the outer corners of my eyes as well it's a very subtle kind of a purple shimmer next I took this coppery rusty shimmer eyeshadow and just applied that on the inner one third of my eyelid and merging it uh, with the satin purple on the center of the eyelid to create a bit of a gradient shimmer look I'm taking this um, sort of a duochrome violet kind of a shade and just applying that on the center of the eyelid on top of the previous shimmer and also at the outer corner to create a bit of dimension there for eyeliner i'm using their pen eyeliner this is the lace eyeliner up in a black shade it's a very jet black um, very precise eyeliner so i'm creating a winged eyeliner using this pen eyeliner on both my eyes to add a bit of glitter i'm using this glitter eyeliner this is called their gimme glitter liner in the shade prism which is like a white base multi-chrome shimmer glitter liner so i'm just popping that right on the center of the eyelid to add a bit of um, jazz to my um, eyeshadow look so yeah i really liked it it's not chunky it's very uh, thin in texture and felt super comfortable on the eyelid to prime my skin i'm using their primer spray this is very hydrating on the skin and also primes the skin just like the name suggests so i'm just spraying that on the entire face and letting it sort of 80 percent dry uh, before i apply my base products for foundation and concealer i'm using their double trouble foundation plus concealer uh, this is basically a foundation but has a bit of a higher coverage in it and this is the shade desert which is such a good match on my skin tone so i'm applying that on one side of my face first and then on the other side it is a very flawless kind of a foundation but doesn't look cakey on the skin which i really liked and the color match is also brilliant and felt very comfortable on the skin as well and whatever is left i'm just running that on my neck I am also using a cream blusher. This is called their Cream Puff Natural Blush in the shade Shortcake, which is a deep uh, berry toned blush. So I'm just applying that on the cheek and sculpting it out like so high up until the temple area and just blending it out for that naturally flushed out cheeks. And this color is such a great color for my dusky girls out there. It shows up pretty well on my brown skin and it blended very well on top of my foundation as well. Now to set everything, I'm using their Studio Finishing Mineral Powder, which is like a translucent sort of a color. And just using the powder puff that comes along with it to bake my under eyes on the center of the forehead, on my smile lines, etc. It's a very, very thin, lightweight sort of a powder. It set my base very nicely and yet felt uh, very non-chalky and powdery on the skin, which was very nice and blended pretty well on my brown skin as well. Didn't have any... Um, weird flashback or anything once that is done i'm just going to define my lower lash line very slightly using the same matte purple that i used on my um, crease earlier 
for mascara i'm using their obnoxious volume mascara this is a very jet black mascara that's the first thing that i notice and it's also a bit of a viscousy thick consistency so it does add certain amount of volume but i'll have to use this mascara a couple more time to um get to know this mascara better but uh, for the first time it was nice not bad at all i also got this powder blusher um this is their jikailan hide um duo blusher but it came all broken unfortunately so i just took a little bit of that and put it on the skin it's not extremely pigmented as far as i could notice but it's a very natural sort of a blusher color on my skin tone and it's got a satiny kind of a finish on the skin and the color also matches the cream blusher that i applied then for highlight i'm using their baked highlighter in the shade pixie dust which is very very subtle finely milled really pretty kind of a highlighter i really enjoyed using this and this shade in particular the pixie dust shade is a very very good um highlighter shade on my brown dusky skin tone it doesn't emphasize any pores or anything which i really liked as well and i also got this uh, makeup sponge from them which i totally forgot to use so yeah that's what happened then for lip liner i'm using their teeny weeny um micro gel lip liner and this is in the shade let's chill which is a dark chocolatey brown i've not used any micro um, lip liners in the past so this was a kind of a new try for me but it's very nice it's very precise if you want that super sharp um kind of a outline on your lips and the color is such a good color for my brown girls and the consistency and everything is very smooth and creamy for lipstick i'm using their honey glaze lip shine lip color this is a duo um lip product so one side is a liquid lipstick which is in a nude kind of a shade i expected this nude color to be very washed out on my skin tone but surprisingly this looked really nice it's a very very good nude color on my skin tone especially along with the uh, chocolatey brown lip liner that i had on so yeah i really liked it the consistency is also very thin yet decently pigmented and then to top it off i used this uh, clear gloss that comes along with it and it's such a good gloss as well it made my lips look super juicy and plumpy and very very smooth looking as well so yeah i really like the lip color as well so that is the finished makeup look using all root cosmetics makeup products it came out very well none of the products disappointed me in any way i really enjoyed using their products i have used their products in the past and really like them so yeah this is how it turned out so I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching this full face of Root Cosmetics makeup tutorial. All the products that I use to create this look will be linked in the description box. Please make sure to follow me on my Instagram and also make sure to subscribe to my channel for more such videos. And I shall see you guys soon in my next one. Bye!